Holy smokes, look at that crispy, sizzling, chickeny goodness. Oh, this is an old school Thai classic, my friends. Crispy Thai garlic chicken. I don't put flour on my. Mm. It's crunchy, Very isn't crunchy. it? It's crunchy. It's tasty. Yeah, it's crunchy. Mm. Mm. All right, guys, we are going with one of my like old school family favorites here. This is Gai Tha Gatiam Pig Thai, which is a garlic peppery like plate of deliciousness. <laughs> uh, it's very simple, but I have a little hack that makes it even more simple than the original. So let's get going on the paste marinade that we need first of all. Um, I'm going to start with some garlic, obviously, because this is like, you know, garlic chicken. And that goes straight into my mortar. And then just use your pestle to just kind of pop the skins a little bit. Now, typically this one is made with pork a lot in Thailand, but I also love to do it with chicken. Um, it's also the way my mum used to do it as well when I was little, which I love. All right, it doesn't matter if there's like a few skins in there, the skins will kind of crisp up a little later when we get everything into the hot oil. But what I want to do now is add in the rest of the flavorings. And the other important ingredient here is coriander. So we've got our whole coriander here. Um, and for this one, we really want to use the root part. So I know a lot of you guys write and you're like, well, my store only sells the stems. I don't get the root part. That's okay. Just use as much of the stem as you can uh, and just tear that in. That bottom part has a lot of flavor and it's actually um, a very traditional ingredient to use in Thai pastes and marinades and um, it just is great. But look, I know a lot of you don't like coriander. That's okay. You can just leave it out and just do garlic and pepper here. Totally cool. Now onto the pepper. I'm using white peppercorns. So this is like the holy trinity, if you like, uh, for Thai cooking. It's the white pepper, the garlic, the coriander. It's, you know, I don't know. It's like the, it's the, the flavor that gives everything that, I don't know, that Thai essence, you know, a lot of the time. It also it just reminds me of like my mum's kitchen also, which I also love. Okay, so much love today, my goodness. <laughs> a little bit of salt as well. And I want you to pound this to a rough paste. You don't need to be all, you know, super fine dining here, just kind of a, you know, rough paste. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about here, that kind of situation into a large bowl. Now add in some chicken. I'm using some thin strips of chicken thigh, but you could go with breast, or as I mentioned, you can also do pork strips as well. And to that, we just need some oyster sauce, some fish sauce, and just a little dash of sugar. Now get that mixed up. All right, so things are smelling very delicious in this kitchen. Um, what we wanna do, don't leave that to marinate too long. This is like hardcore, this marinade. Does not need long at all. What you wanna do is just get yourself set up with just a bowl of corn flour. And we're gonna do this in batches. What I want you to do is make sure that you've got everything set up, the oil, your chicken, flour, and then just go straight into the flour and then straight into the oil. If you kind of mix it up first and leave it sitting around, the corn flour gets really sticky and gluggy and I want just a really thin, coating. Um, in actual fact, um, my mom, who is still watching, um, would say no to the flour. So she doesn't do flour. She just goes straight in and fries as the chicken is. But I'm just going rogue. I like the extra crispiness, but totally up to you. You can do it mum and way as well. The most important thing though is check the oil temperature with a wooden spoon. Just pop that in. And once you can see some nice lovely bubbles, you are ready to deep fry. So I'm going to go in with half the chicken for this and just really make sure you get each piece coated beautifully. Would you use the flour, Mum? Would you do flour? I don't put flour on my. No, no flour, no flour. I'm going to get in trouble later, anyway. Alright, so once you have that chicken looking nice and lovely and coated, then we go into the oil and do some sizzling. Now just as this cooks, just kind of move those pieces around and separate them if they've gotten a little sticky in there. It really doesn't take very long at all. So in just a few minutes, you should have this like amazingness happening. 
golden, crispy, crunchy chicken pieces. Oh, and the smell of that beautiful garlic, oh, amazing. Now just drain those off in some paper towel. And then I always find you need like some extra flour for the second batch, so pop some of that in. And then chicken. And then sizzling again. Okay, so let's have a moment here and have a look at this like crispy, sizzling, amazing goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, so good. Now get that out onto some paper towel. Now when you have a tray full of golden, delicious, amazing chicken, and I mean, so this is one of the reasons why I like to add the flour, is that I love that kind of craggly, crispy kind of texture on the outside. It just gives you an extra bit of crunch. Um, but I have to say my mum's version without the flour, which is a little lighter maybe, or less. They look good. There you go, mum, see? Yeah. <laughs> All right, but let's get my version onto the plate. Does it sound good? This sounds crispy, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. All right, and look, one final little hack from me, and that is instead of getting you guys to chop a whole heap of garlic, and I mean a whole heap um, to deep fry, which is what you would do traditionally, I just like to use some already made store-bought fried garlic um, because then you don't have to chop a whole lot of garlic, so it's great. So that's my little my little hack for this one. Ooh. All the crispy sounds. Final little bit of zhuzhing, some coriander leaves. And so this is something that we would eat like, you know, with some steamed rice or sticky rice as well, you know, some greens as well or a, a little salad. Um, but to me, this is like the perfect, like homey kind of comforting Thai dish that I love. Really beautiful, simple flavors. But well, should we see what the expert thinks instead of me tasting? You wanna come? You want to come try this out? All right, so you're going to come and try? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. That's good. Yes. That's very good. Thanks, Mum. Here you yeah. go. You try it. Tell me you want to try it. Yeah. It's, like, it's different to your version, but like. You want me to try? Yes, please. Yes. Mm. It's crunchy, very isn't it? Crunchy. It's crunchy. It's tasty. Yeah, it's crunchy. Mm. Mm. I can still just sound crunchy. Yeah, crunchy. It still has the same flavour. Yeah, same flavour. Slightly different texture though, but mm. um, I love yours too. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right, how about next Mama Noi episode? You make your version. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really good too. Thanks, Mum. Yeah, it's flavour. Delicious. Good. It is good, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. You can taste the garlic, you can taste the pepper, mm. you can taste the coriander. Mm. What? Yeah. Thought. I learned from the best, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> if you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.